Hi, morning everybody. Since there's some interest about uh, the proper kind of uh, uh, fish stringer that will uh, be secure, especially if you get your prize catch, you, would, you don't want to lose it. Uh, I thought I'd just do a quick video on this. Okay, uh, a lot of the sets that you buy from AliExpress that comes with the clip and all that, you've got to be careful about it. Uh. Firstly, the string have been known to just part like, uh, like cotton wool after some time in salt water and under the sun and then you get a price catch and there, there it goes just like that no matter how hard the knot you tie it will not pull and then secondly uh, the swivels that they use the quality of the swivels that they use for attachment uh, the swivels are totally uh, you know not uh, corrosion resistance uh, after one or two use it totally parts even at the swivel so uh, I thought I'd just uh, do a quick one to show you. Uh, uh, I bought this on uh, AliExpress for 6 plus, but uh, there's a label here that says uh, 12 ringgit. Uh, so it's actually only about $4 sing, uh, and then plus the shipping fee they charge me another 2 plus. I thought it's okay lah, rather than you travel all the way to go and buy. So it comes with these large clips. I prefer to put about 5 clips on uh, each line. But you can go up to about six. Uh. I think anything more than that it tends to entangle quite a lot. So the materials you use are uh, these large clips, uh, these large clips, and then uh, this tube, uh, eight mm tube for to use as separator. And then I like to use this uh, multi strand cord. Okay, these are very strong, and then they do not part uh, under severe wet. Uh, you know, severe use uh, like salt water or prolonged use in the sun you can simply make this not because to save money in fact the materials might cost slightly more but I think they are a lot more secure and they hold a lot longer all right about I think about uh, 20 meters of this cord cost only about ten dollars so it doesn't cost that much uh, okay. cut the video short I will just quickly do a demo okay the separator uh, you can do about 5 cm let me take a look show you the separator can be about 5 cm right you just cut it doesn't have to be rocket size uh. okay. 5 cm <clears throat> so I'll put it uh, in first and you secure to the first one All right. you can just use a uni knot just use a uni knot this try not to cut too short because uh, uni knots uh, though they can be tight but uh, they are known to slip out under pressure when there's a bit of uh, moisture especially when you put it in the water so uh, try not to cut too short yeah Slip in my entire rope is about uh, about six feet long, about half the length of a kayak. Because usually you do not put that long. You the last thing you want is that the this rope will go under the or your propeller or your flipper drive and then entangle. So usually I put uh, only about six feet. That's the half the length of the kayak. Okay, and then the other end, you just uh, put it in. Okay, cut another five cm length. 
it's not rocket science, so you can uh, just estimate about 5 cm. All these things can be bought from uh, uh, online. Whether you prefer Lazada, Shopee, doesn't matter. You can use either one. So typically, I use about uh, in total about five, five to six lah. Anything more like I mentioned, it tends to entangle. Okay, if you prefer, actually this uh, separator tubing can be even longer. But of course, if it's very long, by the time you put six. It's already 60 cm long, so it could be too far apart. This one. All right. I like these clips because uh, when you get the larger ones, uh, if you use a uh, clip that is too small, let me show you. If you use clips such as this, uh, when you try to put through the mouth, your fingers will be very near the teeth, especially for sharp tooth uh, fish like mangrove jacks or even like uh, paramandis or kimbak loa that has the sharp plate razor sharp plate on the gill plates uh. your hands do not want to be too close all right so i prefer this large look clips now here the uh, i think it actually says large okay you can find this online this was shipped from malaysia and when i look Round the fish in general for the fish to survive longer i do not um i do not look through the gills i do not look through the gills okay uh just give me a minute in general when you have the fish Most people will look round, round the clip, round like that, through the mouth, and then come out from the gills. And then they clip it, right? Right? But uh, I would suggest, instead of doing this, You know, this portion below is actually a soft spot. Just use your scissors. All right. Don't hit the gills. Just use your scissors. Just gently poke a small hole. It's very easy. You just poke a small hole under the gills. And the clip should instead go through the mouth and come out from here. When you do it this way, you'll find that your fish will survive a lot longer. And I have uh, yeah, rigged this way for pretty large ones. Not very large by compared to some of you, but uh, 3, 4, 5 kg specimens uh, quite often uh, without any problems. The jaws are usually very strong. The jaw bones are usually very strong. So when you look through this way, it only uh, goes in through the jawbone. It only goes through the jawbone. And you'll find that your fish will actually survive a lot longer in the water as compared to if you go through the gills. All right. So uh, yeah, feel free to comment. I'm sure many of you have a better experience on this, but uh, this is just a sharing of some of my personal experience. Okay. All right. Thanks for watching. Bye.